Oh man. <clears throat> Well, I'm back. Johnson Lodger back with another video. I'm gonna switch to the different style, the vlog style that I like. Hmm. So, got a load from Atlanta. So I had the bobtail from Savannah, Georgia up to Atlanta, Georgia. My load is ready, so I'm told. I'm here at the old one now, but I figured I'd go ahead and take, you know, give me a 30 minute break in before I head out to my 90. Um, it is a dropping hook, obviously, because I bobtail up here. But uh, I saw that Chipotle sign, and I'm like, yep, I don't have a trailer, which is rare. You know, for those of us in Prime, you know, it's it's not often that we're bobtail. So whenever I'm bobtail, I take advantage. Hmm. It's like I was home for two weeks. Never even thought about getting Chipotle. And then I think I got was like 10 miles from where I was supposed to be. It just dawned on me. I'm like, hey, there's Chipotle right there. So, uh, this is our dinner. So, I'm eating the bowl now. That way I can get my 30 minute break in, watch, you know, watch some TV or whatever. Um, then I got the burrito for later, you know, after I'm done working, if I'm even hungry again at that point. But just in case. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and I'll get right back to y'all in a minute. Oh, what is going on y'all it is a new day i probably i don't even know the last time i recorded i think i recorded last thing i recorded was the chipotle so that was monday night it's currently wednesday morning so i ended up taking that load to alabama uh got a pre-plan like I, like I was saying on the live video, I got a pre-plan. Uh, surprisingly, like right after, oh man, I was just looking for this. So it is Veterans Day. So happy Veterans Day to all my veterans. Uh, that means I'm probably going to be able to get this uploaded today. If the video is long enough and, you know, to my liking. Um, but actually, this is my brother's commemorative uh, army tag from when he graduated his academy. So I try and keep it on the truck with me at all times. I just couldn't find it because I usually have it up in the dash. I didn't know that I put it back here. So that's good. Um, what was I saying? Like I was saying on my uh, live video, I uh, got my fleet manager. He got me a load going from uh, another part of Alabama right back down to Savannah. So I'm here in Savannah. Like I got here last night. And, you know, I, I was... That so that low wasn't actually supposed to get picked up until midnight last night, but when I got there at 1300 or 1 p.m., that load was ready, so I had enough time to get down here, um, you know, without destroying my clock. And so I just, you know, I picked it up, took my 30 minute break, and then drove the load straight through without taking a break. Uh, so it was about 400 loaded miles, I think. It actually paid pretty decent, you know. I, I'll say above a dollar fifty. It's not, you know, it's pretty average for Prime, but um, got a little back down here. I got here maybe one in the morning, something like that. Maybe twelve, twelve thirty. So I ended up shutting down. Um. And I was gonna record last night, but man, I I'ma see if I can pull that pull the footage off my dash cam. Like when I drove in last night, they're just like lakes and lakes of water that I had to drive through at this customer. And it was uh it was pretty crazy. Like 
if I can, if I'm able to pull it up, I'll, uh, you know, I'll throw it up here on the screen. But, like, I had, you know, I drove through it at night, you know, which is, I shouldn't have done it. But because I saw trucks that have already done it, I figured, you know, I wouldn't get stuck, which is never good thinking. But I went ahead and did it anyway. I mean, I do have new tires. But I did it anyway. Um, and it, that water was pretty deep. But I uh, woke up this morning, you know, I actually checked in to my 90 early, so I can go ahead and get unloaded early. And then, you know, now that I won't say the sun is out because it's still super cloudy because of the hurricane, but um, I woke up this morning and actually saw the lakes. And I'm like, or not the lakes, but the, <laughs> it's, ba it's basically like the bodies of water that I had to drive through to get back to the guard shack. And I'm like, oh, why did I do this? But it was, I don't know, I hit one part and the truck sunk down and I didn't think it was going to come back up. I was like, oh, I got to call a tow truck. So hopefully I never have to do that again because that was pretty intense. But um, like I said, I, I don't know, I'm just, well, right now, I guess since I'm getting unloaded early, I already sent a message to my fleet manager about a possible load. So, you know, we can get out of here, obviously. But, um. We're gonna see what he sent over. Now he he did send over one load, and that's one of the it was one of those loads. Uh I you know, I, I guess this is to the prime drivers. It was one of those loads that they you know they have to send the load out, but they're really looking for you to say no. Like this load paid so bad that he sent me. And the only reason I was considering it is because it was taking me to the area that I wanted to go, which one is still a terrible business decision but two i'm really profitable in that area so you know it's kind of like you know in my in my mind or the way i take it he sent it out basically because sales would do it too you know it's kind of like you scratch my back i'll scratch yours kind of deal and so that's the approach i took it this load was paying like 79 cents a mile like the load was so cheap and it was going 800 miles like it was it was so 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 cheap like it was completely not worth it and not worth the time it had on it it was drop and hook at both ends which was great it had an all day appointment you know open ended appointment windows which was great it, it's just it's just not paying well why does my phone keep doing that for some reason so I ordered a new phone because my phone keeps messing up but I'll literally just be on it and then my sim card will deactivate so like I have to turn my phone on, turn it back on. So hopefully my new phone gets here by Friday while I'm still in this area, or hopefully I'll still be in this area. If not, I have to come back, you know, get routed back and pick it up because this is <laughs> impeding on my business. But uh, so yeah, he's not that low, and I just looked at it, and, you know. And again, the only reason I even considered it was because it was going to the region I wanted to go to. Like if it, if it was going anywhere else i would have been like immediately without even because i could tell it was one of those lows because usually if we get a pre-plan you know we get the payment information too like he just sent the plan and i'm like so i waited a second because i was like well maybe system's delayed so i waited like two three minutes and then i sent him a message i'm like hey that pre-plan doesn't have any payment information <laughs> and i'm you know, i'm not gonna you know tell you guys the banter i mean me and my fleet manager have a, a better relationship now I, I i think before on this channel i've talked to you know i've talked about him in the past but uh I, I feel like our relationship is getting a lot better now um you know business wise obviously um so yeah i just need i just wanted to come on here real quick um i'm still going through some of that footage to go through That was weird. Um, I'm still going through some footage uh, to see if I can salvage any. So far, the answer is still no. Uh, but I, did, I was able to catch up on my TV shows. Like I caught up on, you know, for my anime fans like myself, I caught up on a couple of anime shows. I caught up on The Good Doctor. So for those of you, I, again, are you serious? What the world? Sailor plane removed. What? <sighs> I gotta 
call AT&T. Um, I caught up on The Good Doctor. For those of you who don't know, The Good Doctor is a show on Hulu, or it's on ABC. I watch it on Hulu myself because I don't have live TV in the truck yet. I'm not going to get the satellite. I'm probably going to get a streaming service for live TV. Because there's a lot of times that, you know, I like to play, you know, my games. Or I'll be doing stuff on my iPad, which, you know, I mean, I'll show you. Because something, you know, I'll get on here and I'll play some game. You know, I'll play games or I'll hop on my PlayStation up on the TV and I'll play some games. And uh, I, I just got to, I don't know. I, I like, because I watch anime, which primarily I watch it in the native language of Japanese, or Japanese. So if I'm doing something, obviously I can't do something watch and read at the same time I can only watch and read so uh, but there's not a lot of I don't know a lot of like if you guys have show recommendations for like Netflix Hulu um, like I've been watching the Chappelle show I don't know why this focus thing is like that um, like I've been watching the Chappelle show on Netflix uh, just like you know stuff like that what in the world is going on let that white balance real quick. It's like I'm a camera genius now. So I am using the, uh, uh, I'm not using my GoPro, I'm using the, the Canon PowerShot again because I was able to find it. Uh, it was lost for about three days. I had no idea where I packed it. And dang it, again? I don't know what's going on here. Hold on. All right. Um, I, I got to figure out how to fine tune that setting a little better. How did he get out of here already? Man. Anyway. Um. I forgot what I was talking about now. <laughs> Messing with that camera. I don't know. I feel like I'm about to. They're about to come get me because he literally got into the door about 10 seconds before me so I'm probably up next so I will catch you guys on the next one be safe